We get a lot of calls from our customers and, and people in our network who want to understand other things they can do along with the laser to help the process of rejuvenation. So we want to go over a few simple things that you can do while you're using the laser to help this process of shift into the unified field. For one, diet. Diet's really important. What you put in your body will literally affect the cells and the experience that you're having as a, as a physical uh, human being. So we, our diet is based in a vegetarian diet, and we're not veg vegetarian proponents per se. Eat whatever feels good for you and your life. But for us, we try to take in as much food with electrons. Electrons are the name of the game when you want to regenerate cells in your body. Electrons are energy, and that energy transfers to where it needs to go to help tissue to regenerate. The body is like an orchestra, literally, and the nervous system conducts energy and brings that energy around to the whole body. So foods that are relaxing and are filled with energy. We eat lots of fruits and vegetables. We eat lots of food with higher spinning electron. There's a fascinating new amount of research coming out in the area of monoatomics and more alchemical foods. Monoatomics refer to a class of elements where the electrons spin so fast that they're no longer solid, liquid, or gas. They shift into a higher dimensional state called monoatomic elements. Very important, there are certain foods like grapes, like apricots, like water, uh, water chestnut, like uh, like certain nuts and butters, which have high spinning electrons, which are very good because these high spinning electrons activate the monoatomics in our own body, literally the cerebral spinal fluid, the lymph, the brain fluids, the sexual fluids. All of these fluids are actually highly energetic substances. And the more we take in pure electron food, the more we're able to stimulate these areas and regenerate cells in the body. The other area is to take in foods that help to induce a nice relaxing state. So things like aloe vera, I drink a ton of aloe vera, I drink it like it's water because it has very high amounts of rhodium and iridium which are monoatomic elements. They actually activate the glands in the brain, they activate the subtle energies in the body. Remember, it's all alchemy. In the old age, people ate food to, to give energy to the body. The new shift in the unified field is about taking in foods to enhance our subtle body, to enhance the alchemy of our experience here in consciousness. And so you want to take in foods that are not too dense. Coarse, dense foods translate to energy being coarse and dense. Subtle or more refined foods translate. The, you know, the protein myth is sort of a big myth out there. Everyone says you need all this protein. Look at what industries are giving you that information. It's the dairy industry, it's, the, it's, the, uh, it's the, the beef industry, the cattle industry. These folks want you, us to believe that we need a lot of protein because they make a lot of money when we end up buying those products. The reality is we don't need nearly as much protein as they're saying, and you get plenty of protein from fruits, grains, vegetables, and superfoods. Superfoods are a huge aspect of our diet. We eat a lot of blue-green algae, we eat a lot of maca. If you take in superfoods, acai, mangosteen, there's all sorts of superfoods which will give you not only electrons,